Well, the victim in this case is calling this sentence a punch in the stomach, and she predicts her attackers could be back out on the streets tonight. In Patterson Park today, there was frustration over a seemingly light penalty for an attack that took such a heavy toll. I mean, I think it's always going to bother me. Julie, who asked not to be identified, is struggling to understand the sentence delivered to her two attackers. Ten months ago, surveillance cameras captured the night when she was attacked while walking to her home. She was pushed to the ground and punched in the head as the attackers demanded the keys to her car. One attacker was 12 years old, the other 14. The 12 year old pleaded guilty. The 14 year old was found guilty. Both received sentences. They both have a year's probation. Which were almost identical. The older one has to write me an apology letter. Their one year of probation came with counseling, community service work, and disappointment from the victim. I was hoping for more supports and just rehabilitation for him just because he is so young. And it just keeps happening over and over and over again. If you talk to the police, you know, he's, he's a person of interest in dozens of thefts. Arch McGowan raced to help the victim the night of the attack. He also waited in the courtroom last month when the 12-year-old was set to be sentenced. He and his mom did not show up. When the 12-year-old failed to show up in court, police began searching. And it wasn't until last week when officers found the young suspect inside a Fleet Street parking garage. Two individuals in there attempting to steal cars. Uh, if there's no way to ensure that the convicted is going to be compliant, then what are we doing? The victim says she didn't ask that the two be jailed. All she wanted was intensive help for the attackers. It was a punch in the stomach a little bit, but not because I wanted them to like punish them. I didn't want punishment, I didn't want revenge. I wanted just better for them. What are we doing to deter him from getting back out on the streets? And the answer to date is we're not doing anything to deter him. Unfortunately, it wouldn't surprise me if this 12-year-old is killed out on the streets. Well, the victim believes the state's new juvenile reform laws stood in the way of a more serious sentence. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News. I'm Mary Bubala. Thank you for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also take some time to subscribe to our YouTube channel.